Hi, this is Almir Oosthuizen with Cape Town Emergency Medicine and today we're going to talk about using the Ottawa ankle and foot rules to decide which patients with ankle injuries need x-rays. Ankle injuries are very common and very few of these patients have bony injury that will show up on x-ray. The Ottawa ankle and foot rules aims to provide us with a set of objective criteria that we can use to decide which patients need x-rays and which patients do not. There are two important caveats when using the Ottawa ankle and foot rules. These rules are not well validated in children under the age of 9 or adults over the age of 65. And you should be careful in interpreting these rules in these patient groups. The second caveat is that these rules are validated in people with indirect mechanism of injuries to the ankle, such as twisting the ankle, and they are not valid for use when there is direct trauma to the ankle, such as an object falling on the ankle or the ankle being kicked. The first component of the Ottawa ankle and foot rules is that a patient who cannot weight bear for four consecutive steps, both at the site of injury and also in your emergency centre, should have a radiograph of the ankle and or foot done. If the patient can weight bear four steps, then you can evaluate the ankle and foot more closely to identify specific areas of bony tenderness which would lead you to perform an x-ray. When using the Ottawa ankle rules, we are trying to identify areas of bony pain or tenderness. And the first thing that we should look at is bony malleolar pain. The lateral malleolus is the distal end of the fibula. To apply the rule, palpate for bony tenderness on the distal fibula or the lateral malleolus and specifically along the posterior bony edge for about 6 cm up. If you have any bony tenderness in this area, proceed to doing an ankle radiogram. Be careful not to palpate on the ligament, as that will be painful with a ligamentous injury in which an x-ray is not necessary. Also have a look at the medial malleolus. The medial malleolus is the distal tibia. Again, palpate on the bony end of the medial malleolus and along the posterior margin for pain. Again, tenderness here would mandate an x-ray of the ankle. Expanding into the foot, there are two areas of tenderness to evaluate on the foot. The first is the base of the fifth metatarsal. Which lies here. The fifth metatarsal can be injured, usually an avulsion fracture as the peroneal tendon which implants there avulses the tip off during an inversion injury. Tenderness in this area mandates additional x-rays of the foot. In the medial compartment of the foot, palpate the navicular. If you have any tenderness in the navicular area, also an x-ray of the foot is necessary. In summary then, the Ottawa ankle rules state that if a patient with indirect mechanism of injury presents to your unit, and they are unable to take four consecutive steps at the site of injury and in your unit, they have to have an x-ray of the ankle and or foot. When you examine the ankle and the foot more closely, bony tenderness at either the lateral malleolus, the medial malleolus, the navicular, or the base of the fifth metatarsal mandates x-rays of the ankle and foot. And that's it, an overview of the use of the Ottawa Anklin foot rules. Thank you.